Good evening. I'm Jim Williams. The Chicago Area Medical Center will resume COVID vaccinations tomorrow after four employees had adverse reactions to their shots. Advocate Condell says out of an, an abundance of caution, it is taking new steps. Here's CBS 2's Marissa Parra. A total of four reactions. Three were told are mild. The fourth was described as a severe allergic reaction known as anaphylaxis. Now, due to privacy laws, we can't know whether this person had a previous history with allergies. However, we are told this person is home and is doing OK. After thousands of healthcare workers across Illinois got their COVID vaccines this week, Advocate Condell Medical Center in Libertyville briefly hit pause when a handful of employees had differing reactions. Three were mild, one described as more severe by health officials. A fourth was a more severe reaction characterized as anaphylaxis. That person was treated, observed in the hospital overnight. That fourth person now discharged and said to be doing well, but the question remains, why the four reactions at this one hospital? We've given now approximately 6,000 vaccinations throughout our entire system in Illinois and Wisconsin, and we had four of these such reactions occurring at Condell. So the immediate concern was, is there something wrong with that batch of vaccines? Advocate Aurora Health consulted the CDC local and state health departments who eventually came to the conclusion that the batch couldn't have been bad because parts of that same batch were given to other hospitals where no reactions were reported. Is there cause for concern in your eyes? It is normal for some folks to sometimes have what we call a vasovagal reaction. It can happen with blood work too. If someone sees a needle <laughs> approaching them, sometimes people get a little bit of palpitations, a little bit of tingling. That's Marina Del Rios. She's a doctor at a different hospital outside of the Advocate Aurora Health System who just got her own vaccine and says, while we don't know the specifics of those people who had side effects, side effects in general from the vaccine are rare. For the most part, it's some soreness, maybe some fatigue. Some people can get some low grade fevers, but again, they're very rare. What's less rare, doctors say? The effects of COVID-19. Those that survive, a lot of people are left with long-term side effects, scarring of the lungs. Some people end up with, you know, stroke-like symptoms. Dr. Rob Citrenberg from Advocate Aurora Health emphasizes it's all about context. We're going to have occasional reactions. There's no doubt about it. The vaccine is our only way out of the pandemic at this point. Without a vaccine, the pandemic could go on easily for two years, three years or longer. Now, to put things into a wider perspective, keep in mind that this is just one allergic reaction out of roughly 6,000 Pfizer vaccinations. That's just within the Advocate Aurora Health System alone. Reporting along the Chicago lakefront, Marissa Parra, CBS 2 News.